Gaza. A name etched in headlines nowadays, synonymous with suffering and struggle. But despite the conflict and hardship within the concrete confines of this besieged land, another story unfolds. One of resilience and sustenance, written in the fragrant swirls of spices and the rhythmic chopping of vegetables. Greetings, food enthusiasts, and welcome back to the Culinary Timeline channel. Today, we are embarking on a culinary journey that goes beyond the ordinary. We are taking you into the heart of Gaza, where we will explore the resilience and richness of flavors found in Gaza's kitchens in Palestine. But before we get started, let's take a quick poll. Have you ever had the chance to try Palestinian cuisine or taste the traditional dishes of Gaza? Click on the poll icon to vote now. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our mouth-watering explorations. So without further ado, let's begin our exclusive video on Gaza's kitchen in Palestine. When we think of Gaza, our minds are often filled with the images of the ongoing struggles faced by the Palestinian people. However, today we want to shine a light on a different aspect. The cuisine of Gaza, which is an integral part of Palestine's food culture. Despite the challenges they face, the kitchens of Gaza are vibrant, resilient and filled with the aromas of tradition and survival. To truly understand the essence of Gaza's cuisine, we need to start with the people. Though they face difficulties, their spirit in the kitchen remains unyielding. Families come together to share stories and a moment of joy that comes from creating delicious meals from the simplest ingredients, which is truly remarkable given the current situation. Food is not just about survival for them, but also about preserving their identity and traditions. Every meal tells a story of resilience and strength. It is important to remember the rich culture of Palestine and their traditional meals and recipes that have been passed down through generations. Despite the challenges faced by the people of Gaza, their kitchens continue to be a treasure trove of delicious Palestinian delicacies that have stood the test of time. One such dish that's a staple in many households is the famous Musakhan. Musakhan is a fragrant and flavorful dish featuring roasted chicken, sumac, and caramelized onions all served on a bed of thin, crispy bread. It's a celebration on a plate and a testament to the rich culinary heritage that persists even in challenging times. According to a recently published famous food blog post, a local chef passionately talking about this dish said Musahan is more than a dish. It's a symbol of our resistance, a way of saying that we are still here and we are still thriving. Isn't that remarkable? We cannot forget other classics like hummus. This creamy and garlicky side dish can be found with almost every meal. And of course, pita bread is the perfect match for this tangy tahini sauce, making it a blank canvas for the bright sweetness of roasted vegetables. Or falafel, golden fritters made from chickpeas that burst with earthly flavor, a testament to the resourcefulness in times of scarcity. Despite the ongoing war, Gaza's cuisine is a combination of healthy and festive food. According to the famous Leila El Haddad's book, The Gaza Kitchen, A Palestinian Journey, Gaza's recipes include spicy stews, piquant dips, fragrantly flavored fish dishes, and honey-drenched desserts. Some of the most popular dishes mentioned in the book that grace the tables of Gaza's kitchens are hummus fatter, a delectable combination of creamy hummus, toasted bread, and a drizzle of olive oil. Eggplant fatter, chicken fatter, fogaya stew, and sumagia are also favorites, each offering a unique blend of flavors that reflect the rich tapestry of Palestinian cuisine. There's also makluba, a dish of roasted eggplant and meat that melts in your mouth with its smoky depth. There's also dolma, plump grape leaves stuffed with rice and herbs. They are bite-sized treasures, each fold a testament to patient hands. And baklava, layers of phyllo pastry drenched in syrup and studded with nuts. It's a symphony of sweetness, a reminder of life's small joys. When it comes to seafood, it's not as popular or affordable in Gaza due to the Israeli restrictions on fishing areas. However, it remains an essential part of their culinary identity. Despite the challenges they face, the people of Gaza have come up with ingenious adaptions and improvisations in their dishes. Limited access to certain ingredients and constant fear and uncertainty make life in Gaza far from easy. Nevertheless, the kitchen becomes a sanctuary, a place of comfort, hope, and connection. Seafood can be a little ray of that hope especially for those residing along the sea and river banks. In one of Al Jazeera's recent reports where they were interviewing a local family, the family said in our kitchens we find solace. It's where we come together, support each other, and savor the moments that remind us of our humanity. Now we wanted to share with you another delicious delicacy that we forgot to mention earlier. Manakish is a beloved Palestinian dish that has been very popular among the locals for a long time. 
These savoury pastries are usually topped with a mix of thyme, sesame seeds and sumac and are a breakfast staple that bring families together. We should also take a moment to appreciate the culinary heritage of Gaza amidst the conflict that is unfortunately impacting the region. It's an intense and gripping situation that reveals the resilience and strength of the people and their culinary traditions in the midst of adversity. It's incredible to think about it, but in the heart of Gaza, a kitchen stands strong against the chaos and conflict. Here, among the rubble and destruction, meals are being prepared, bringing a sense of normalcy to the lives of those affected by the war. Despite the scarcity of resources and the constant fuel and electricity shortages, the resilience of the people shines through their culinary creations. Using whatever ingredients they can find, the women of Gaza create flavorful meals that nourish both the body and the spirit, and it's a testament to their unwavering strength and determination. Through their food, they express their identity, culture and resistance, passing down generations of traditions to their children. But Gaza's kitchen is not immune to the realities of the conflict. Ingredients become scarce, prices fluctuate and the constant threat of violence hangs heavy in the air. Families adapt, substituting, improvising and making do with what little they have. A missing spice is replaced with another and a wilted vegetable becomes a broth base. Waste is a luxury and cannot be afforded in these tragic and trying times, and nothing can be spared. Every scrap is repurposed, every flavor squeezed from the earth. It is heart-wrenching to know that through all the challenges, the warmth of Gaza's kitchen prevails. The rhythmic kneading of dough, the sizzle of onions on a hot pan, the clinking of spoons against metal bowls. Moreover, we can say that these are the sounds of defiance of a people refusing to let their spirit be extinguished. Whatever the consequences are for them, each meal is a statement, a symbol of resistance against occupation and oppression. Every meal is an act of resistance, a celebration of life's tenacity and a testament to the belief that even in the darkest night, flavor finds a way. It is a way for the people there right now to maintain their heritage and showcase their Palestinian identity. The kitchen becomes a break from the battleground, where stories are being shared and memories are preserved. It's a sanctuary where hope sprouts amidst the despair. Undoubtedly, the aroma of traditional Palestinian spices fills the air, reminding them of their homeland and keeping their spirits alive. By gathering around the table, they find solace, strength and unity. The kitchen becomes a symbol of defiance against the siege, reminding them that their culture and heritage cannot be erased. As the conflict rages on, Gaza's kitchen stands as a beacon of hope, reminding the world that amidst the darkest of times, humanity, resilience and love can still flourish. We now understand that the kitchens in Gaza are becoming a haven where families weave tradition into every meal, defying the shadow of war with the alchemy of flavors. Here, recipes are more than just mere instructions. They are testaments to a culture that refuses to be broken. Thank you for being a part of this amazing journey with us, where we explored the diverse recipes of Gaza's kitchen and the remarkable resilience demonstrated during the conflict. If you found this experience enlightening and heartwarming, please show your appreciation by giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends. As we come to a close, we would love to hear your thoughts on how Gaza's kitchen has persevered through the challenges of this conflict. Please feel free to carry on the discussion in the comments below, but be respectful. Remember that food is not just fuel for our bodies, but it's also a bridge that connects us all. So keep exploring, keep cooking, and keep spreading the love. As always, we look forward to seeing you in our next adventure and sharing more culinary tales with you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories like these. Together, let's shed a light on the human narratives that emerge from the Israeli-Palestinian conflict that inspire understanding and empathy.